Hi everybody, Tetanus Risk back with you, just messing around with the 2000 GMC Safari uh, all-wheel drive, 4.3 liter. As you can see in the shot here, uh, the check engine light is on. And in my introductory video, I uh, mentioned that I had tr four trouble codes show up on this. So when I first bought it, I uh, plugged in the scan tool and it spit out a P0107, a P0300, a P0302, and a P1351. Um, now the P0107 uh, points right at your map sensor. Um, so I threw one of those on the uh, the shopping list. Uh, the 1351 um, points right to the ignition control module. So I threw one of those as, as well as a coil on the shopping list. And uh, they came in and I installed the map sensor and I installed the uh, ignition control module and coil and uh, cleared the codes and started it up and ran it for a while and the check engine light came back. Um, now it's... Uh, It's showing P0300, still remaining. We'll just scan ahead. Um, looking at some stored data here. Uh, you can see that uh, short-term and long-term fuel trims are way in the minuses, uh, especially short-term. Um, so it's, it's running rich and the computer is uh, trying to cut fuel to them to to uh, bring the fuel trims down uh, map sensor seems to be operating okay math uh, mass airflow it, it seems low um, but uh, one catastrophe at a time um, we'll go on to the next code p0302 stored and uh, same 302 uh, pending so um, now, one thing I did do is I bought uh, a new cap and a new rotor. I checked continu continuity and um, resistance in all the plug wires. Everything was fine. I did the nighttime check of uh, coming out, starting it up, looking for any kind of, uh, any kind of arcing. Um, I saw none. Um, then I also... Uh, took a, a spray bottle and misted the wire, seeing if I could uh, uh, create any kind of short in them, and I, I saw nothing. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do before I throw any more parts on at this thing is, I'm gonna do a compression check. Um, and I think I would, uh, I would suggest this to anybody that's getting a 302 combined with any cylinder misfire or multiple cylinder misfire. Start with a compression check before you spend a pile of money just throwing uh, basically ignition parts at it, uh, trying to do a tune-up and make your uh, your fault codes disappear. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take the, the wheels off of this and I'm going to do uh, a quick uh, compression test and I'm going to compare what I found in all the cylinders. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be back. All right, uh, compression test done. Uh, not the results I was hoping for. I got the numbers right here. Number one was bang on 190. Number three was just a hair over 190. Number five, just a hair under 190. Number two, showing very little on the dial. Didn't even make it out of the first 10 pounds. Um, that's horrible news. Uh, number four, uh, just a hair over 185, and number six, just a hair under 190. So the other five cylinders, I'm pretty happy with the results. That number two will requ require further investigation. And so I think I'm going to do uh, hook up an airline, uh, pump just a wee bit of air into number two, and try and figure out where it's going. Now I'll, I'll place number two at uh, top dead center on the compression stroke and uh, add some air and I'll come back. So I removed the hose from the compression tester and removed the Schrader valve from the hose and threaded it into the number two cylinder right there. Then I added an air source running back to my compressor right there. So I'm gonna allow a steady stream, uh, but small stream, small pressure uh, amount of air uh, to fill the cylinder and since I got zero compression it's going to be escaping somewhere so 
the air is going to help me determine where it's escaping from and what the problem is. So if it's a, say, stuck, burnt, or uh, damaged um, exhaust valve, I should hear the hiss of air at my tailpipe. If uh, it's the intake valve that's the trouble, the air will escape past the intake valve and I should be able to remove um, a vacuum line from the intake and hear the, or feel the hiss of air escaping at the end of the hose. If the problem is bad rings, the air will escape past the bad rings and into the crankcase. So from the crankcase, it should also make its way up the oil filler. And I wrapped a glove in tape pretty tightly around the oil filler. So if, uh, if rings are the problem, that, uh, that glove should fill up. I also added a glove uh, back at the tailpipe for uh, visual aid. Now, if the problem is a bad uh, head gasket on this side, um, the air should escape into the, the neighboring cylinder or even uh, into the, uh, the, the cooling um, jacket, like the, the water jacket. Um, so I perhaps would see uh, bubbles in my radiator if I don't feel the air hissing out the, uh, the neighbor's neighboring cylinder. So I'm going to crack the valve on the compressor and uh, allow the air to go in um, and I'll come back. So I opened the valve on the compressor and I started pumping the air in. Um, this glove on the oil filler never moved. The, uh, the glove on the tailpipe never moved. Uh, there was no air escaping the neighboring uh, cylinder, um, which would be the number four in this case. No, nope, the culprit's right here. So the air is escaping past the intake valve and coming back up the, uh, the intake to the throttle body and out the air intake. I'll move the camera even closer and you can hear it. So definitely intake valve. So I hope this helps you uh, when you get a P0300 and uh, another P0301 to 06 to go with it. Um, don't start throwing parts at it. Run your compression check first. Um, your parts might all be okay. In my case, I did need a MAP sensor. Um, in my case, it looked like I also needed um, an ignition control module and I changed the coil. I probably didn't need a cap. I didn't need a rotor. So uh, I could have saved myself a few bucks. So when you, uh, when you find yourself spitting out these... Uh, 300 to 301 to 306 codes, uh, start with a compression test. Uh, do your air leak down test. Uh, it might save you a few bucks in the, uh, the long run. And always, if you like the content, uh, please subscribe, like, comment down below. Um, it's all good. And I'll see you again next time. When I'm ripping the valve cover off of this rotten no good.